What's up, Zardoz? I have a new episode of Indie Spotlight, and it's brought to you by my own indie book. It's Red Knight. Uh, you can pick up the uh, trade paperback on the uh, Create Space uh, link, and uh, also you can pick up individual issues on my uh, Etsy shop. And I'll also leave a link for the Primal Paper Comics website. Whew, that's a lot of places you can get it. You can pick and choose. Uh, so, uh, yeah, check it out below. Uh, also, speaking of links, I have a Patreon. So if you can help me make more, that would be nice. So let's get to other people's books, shall we? Because that's the whole point of this thing. Uh, I am talking about the uh, Paladin, which is a uh, indie comic from uh, Chris Anta Solis and uh, Fabio Val right here. And this is an interesting title. It takes place in the future. The future of, what was that year? 21-something. Uh, 2116. And uh, our hero is uh, this guy, Giovanni. And he is something of a former soldier, genetically enhanced, uh, called a uh, Palladin. And uh, there was a huge nuclear war. Uh, the survivors had gotten together. As we get introduced to, actually the exposition is done in this text crawl. Oh, hold on. Dun, 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 dun. The nuclear war happened and things were bad and then people got together and made soldiers. I think that's pretty much what it says. Uh, essentially he is one of those, but he abandoned the life. Uh, his sister, however, uh, Le let's see, uh, Lyra, she did not, and she's actually kind of taken the persona of a uh, superhero called Gemini. She is a multiple. She can uh, break apart, so far apparently, in just uh, a duo. Uh, since her name is uh, Gemini, I assume that, uh, that's all she can do. She can't break apart into an army like uh, Madrix. But hey, uh, being two people by locating is pretty good advantage, I'd say. Uh, she's also not a bad fighter, I have to say. The uh, Let's see. The story in question is he comes to visit her after not seeing her for a while. Uh, they've come to uh, visit the graves of their parents, the Destros. Destro. And uh, let's see. Unfortunately, they have to uh, cut their visit short uh, because she has a mission. She has to uh, save a whole bunch of people at this uh, terrorist attack, uh, a whole bunch of uh, superpowered uh, terrorists are kind of uh, taking over, kind of diehard the movie style. Uh, so she goes to uh, take care of the event, and he goes back to her apartment uh, because he is no longer doing this shit. Uh, let's see. We see her in action fighting uh, fighting quite a few of these guys uh, when she is confronted with somebody who has quite an agenda, almost diehard-ish. Again, uh, the plan was a little bit more complex than what previously thought. Uh, anyway, meanwhile at home... Uh, Giovanni gets the news that she may have been killed in action uh, to be continued. Uh, this is an intriguing book with a uh, future. It's a nice, I wouldn't say post-apocalyptic because it looks like uh, the world has gotten through this serious war and it's been sharply changed. I mean, there are people uh, kind of all over who have powers uh, and uh, mutations all over. And it just seems to be part of the part of the world now. It just seems to be the new norm, which I think is fascinating. Uh, and, you know, it has adjusted fairly well. Uh, the art in question, I think, uh, by Val is gorgeous. I, I think, like, starting with the cover, which really knocked me out when I first saw it, uh, to every page, I think, is just beautiful. Uh, I think, you know, this is, like, image good. Uh, I, like, I liked it a lot, actually. Uh, and, you know, some of the details, too. I mean, like the dog here, I think is very, you know, just something simple as that. But that dog is very realistic and very believable and, you know, very animated. Uh, I like uh, the shot of, um, where is it here? Gemini on the plane right here. I think that's a really cool uh, shot. Uh, her and her uh, cat suit, uh, just looking awesome. This is a really good book, and I highly recommend you uh, digging it up and uh, checking it out. Uh, it's called the uh, Blatant. It's got the uh, website on the back where you can uh, check them out, see if you can uh, order uh, some copies. Either I don't know if you can get them in digital. Uh, I know I got this print. I assume probably digital because you know it's the future now. So uh, 
go and you know see what you can find out uh, at the uh, the website below. I'll uh, also drop a link uh, so you can uh, take a look for yourself. Uh, hopefully, issue two will be out soon. Uh, yeah, it's, so if you jump on now, you're not missing anything big. Check it out. Uh, I think that's it for now. So push the button, Lindsay.